Where do you think you're going? To the camp. You ain't come to make trouble, have you? Diego says I'm to meet him in the camp. Okay, in you go then. Any news? Nah, everything's the same as ever. Take care. Some people never learn. I doubt that's ever tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of here. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here? But you've only just arrived. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp and thereby the whole ore trade. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, everything. You can also get some of it. All you have to do is join Gomez's people. What about the two other camps? The two other camps split up to pursue their crazy escape plans. There's the new camp in the west of the colony, where the mages think they can just detonate the barrier as soon as they've scraped enough ore together. And then there's the sect loonies in the east. Their camp is in the middle of the swamp, and they're praying to their idol to set them free. He hasn't responded so far. If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time on those madcaps. Take care. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. If I gave you a certain amount of ore, would you let me in the castle? For a certain amount. How much? Well, it'd have to take a while to count the ore. Long enough to make sure me and my boys are busy counting while you slip by. So tell me, how much? One thousand nuggets should be enough. A thousand nuggets? Well, you could join up with Gomez. That'd get you in the castle for free. I need to get into the castle. I have a letter here for the High Fire Mage. And you expect me to let you stroll inside the castle to hand it over and collect your reward? Yeah. Okay, show me the letter. I'm not letting you handle it. Forget it. Okay, I've forgotten. I want to work for Gomez. Oh yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? 
I'll talk to Diego. Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the tasks your patron sets for you. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the Ore Barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. Sounds to me like the mages are your problem. Yeah, but they're a problem that's hard to solve. A few years back, one of the shadows tried to stab the High Magician of the Circle of Fire while he was sleeping. They found him later in the Outer Ring. In fact, he was scattered all over the Outer Ring. Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? You're new here. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. Where can I find Mordrek? You'll find him at the south gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. Do you want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face around here again. I don't care how you do it. I'll take care of it. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. I am new here. Just arrived, have you? I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long either. I was thrown in with the load before you. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you Somebody who explains everything to you and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, you'll be with us. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, It'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. 
Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris, you already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most skillful among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left and you'll be heading for the arena. What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. That won't happen again. Where can I find the old mine? Go to Graham. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. He lives to the left of the north gate. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. But keep it to yourself. Take care. People always talk. I'm new here. Who are you? I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp. I've come to preach the words of the Sleeper to strangers like you. Who is the Sleeper? The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberion, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods. And you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the sleeper will lead us to freedom. How do I get to the Brotherhood's camp? I'm busy. But Baal Parvez should be somewhere in this camp as well. He's near the marketplace, on the other side of the castle. I believe he's even got his own hut there. Tell me about the Sleeper's teachings. The Sleeper is a powerful being. Maybe even more powerful than Enos, the God of Light. He is with us in spirit. But his power is still limited. He has been sleeping for a thousand years, but now the moment of his awakening is near. He has chosen us to be witnesses to his awakening and to spread his word. So listen, all those who join the sleeper will have immortal souls, but those who are against him will be punished. But the sleeper is compassionate and sends proof of his might to all who doubt him. How does your God prove his might? He speaks to us through visions. Whoever hears his voice no longer doubts his might. If you take the weed which grows in the swamp, you will be close to the sleeper and able to hear him. Some people even see images. I see. If you think. What will the way to freedom look like? We are preparing a great invocation of the sleeper in which all novices create the contact together. In this invocation, the sleeper will reveal the path to freedom. I need to get into the castle. 
Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. The only ones among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. We gather swamp weed and sell part of it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle. But for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? Maybe. I want to meet somebody there. Do you? Who? And why don't you just wait until he comes out? He's one of the magicians. Oh, well they never leave the castle. You really will have to get in. What do you want from them anyway? Magic runes? Or potions? That's right. I knew it. What else would a guy like you want with the mages? I can give you some good advice. Forget the mages. They take far too much ore for their stuff. Magic runes and potions are much cheaper in our camp. Hey, you! Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Is that a threat? On the contrary, it's an offer of friendship. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. May I pass through here? May I pass through here? Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. I'll return. New here, are you? I don't know your face. I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. What good will your speaking up for me do? If you want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. If I speak up for you with Diego, that'd be a great help for you. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. Hello! 
often have I told you bastards not to run through my hat? What's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. It all started when I built my hut. Don't build your hut close to the ditch, they said. But none of these bastards told me what would happen if I still did it. When I came back from the mine a few days ago, I had a second door. Those pigs, I hate them. I can't tell you how much I hate them. Now everybody runs through my hut. Every idiot. How's things? New here, are you? You better know that it's no good getting into trouble with the guards. When they want protection money, you better pay. Otherwise, half the camp will be against you. Hang on. I hear you've spoken to Bloodwin. Why? What do you want? It was real cool of you to refuse to pay him protection money. It means we're all gonna have to pay your share as well. I'll make sure you remember next time he asks you. He is finished Try that again and you'll regret it. You poor jerk. You don't even have ore on you. Hey you, I learned you didn't want to pay protection money to Bloodwin. What do you want? To warn you, Bloodwin paid some people. They're gonna do you in. I saw how he talked to people like Herrick over there, and God knows who else he hired. Your warning about Herrick is a bit late. He must have talked to somebody else as well. That much I know, so do take care. new face. What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here and the new ones always get into trouble. You could save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Just ten ore, man. It ain't much to ask. And what do I get out of it? While you're in my district, I'll protect you. If you get into any trouble with the guys from the new camp, or if one of the sect loonies gets on your nerves, you can count on me. If you have bother with one of the diggers, 
We'll help whichever one of you has paid. It's as simple as that. And what if both have paid? Then we sit back and watch the show, but that don't happen too often. What if I don't pay? Hey man, don't stress yourself. You're a newcomer. Take a look around, collect a bit of ore, and when you're ready to pay, then pay. You can do it anytime, but don't count on my help until you've made your contribution to my expenses. I'm sure you'll understand. I'll see you later. Just you take care of yourself. Hi, I'm new here. How's things? Go away. I've been working my ass off in the mines for the last two weeks. And what for? Some sad lumps of ore is all I got. I had to spend most of it on food. I talked to Ball Parvis down there. He told me some interesting things about the sect camp. I think I'd better go there instead of slaving away for Gomez. You don't like it here? Why don't you just go then? Because I'm not quite sure what to expect there. I had a pal here. His name was Melvin. He headed off to the sect camp a week ago. But since then, I haven't heard of him. And as long as I don't get a message from him, I stay here. Hey, you! The right decision. I'd better keep up. Hey, you! I trade in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? What is swamp weed? New here, are ya? You can smoke it. Very relaxing for most of us. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh! You're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam. Quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then, I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Kalam. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Kalom is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some point, Diego will ask me if you're suitable for us. Just guess what my answer will depend on. Okay, I'll see if I can get the thing.
Where is the sect camp? Leave the camp through the south exit, then head eastwards. You'd better take a map. I got one here for 50 or. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. 